Uh, let's head down to Nikhil Pradier over at Buccaneer Stadium. Good evening, Alan. And there was a lot going on at Buck Stadium tonight. It was a Hall of Fame game showcasing the longest running rivalry between two CCISD schools, Miller and Ray. On top of that, it was Ray's homecoming game. So there was a lot of celebration for that. But there was also a lot on the line with both Miller and Ray coming in with one district win and looking to stay alive in the North Zone playoff race in District 35A. So here's a look at some of tonight's game action. The ultimate in football rivalries in Corpus Christi, the Miller Bucks and Ray Texans more than ready to take the field and the Texans coaches firing up their players for homecoming. Let's go all three. One, two, three. And Ray would take an early seven to nothing lead, but here come the Bucks freshman quarterback Andrew Body finds the big wide receiver Bubba Lloyd from 14 yards out. And just like that, it's all knotted up at 7-7. But it wouldn't stay that way for long. On the Texans' next drive, running back Julian Mireles punches it in from three yards out. Ray up 13-7. Then the defenses come alive. Miller quarterback Andrew Body targeting receiver Cash's play, but the knockout punch coming from Ray's Jarrell Graham with the interception in the end zone. Still in the second quarter, arguably the most controversial play of the game, Ray quarterback Brad Breckenridge with the toss to Larry Rucker. Now Rucker drops it, then Miller's Justice Watson picks it up and runs it in for the score. But take a look again. Ray coach Craig Charlton was looking for an incomplete pass call, but instead it's a touchdown for Miller. Bucks take a 14-13 lead. And late in the second, deep in Texas territory, the Bucks quarterback body is shaken up on what would be a personal foul call. So in steps the senior quarterback, Joshua Vasquez, as he keeps it for himself from a yard out and takes it in for the score. And Miller takes a 20-13 lead into the half over the Ray Texans. But in the end, uh, Ray ends up shutting out Miller in the second half, and they come back to win this game 37-20. to Impressive second-half performance by the Texans. I'm joined now by Texans head coach Craig Charlton, also quarterback Brad Breckenridge. Let's start with Coach Charlton. Coach, very close, tense in the first half. What were you able to do in the second half to kind of pull away and take command of the game? Well, the main thing is we told our kids at halftime is, guys, we got to get back to basics, and we got we got to sit there and tackle well, get lined up, and do what we do on defense, and that's what we did in the second half. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I know um, uh, there was a questionable call there at the end of the first half that we talked about. Um, uh, just tell us how you think that affected your team and kind of shifted their mindset to get ready for the second half. Well, it wasn't just one call. We had a bunch of things that we did wrong. We fumbled the ball, and we had some bad penalties on us that, that we caused, and it's just something that's kind of snowballed us on in the first half, and we overcame the second half, and I was really proud of the kids, how they responded, because that Texan fight was in it, and, and we needed this win to stay in the playoff hunt. Okay. And Brad, just really quick, talk about what you saw in the second half there that it kind of allowed you to, to open it up and, and get some more points on the board. Well, honestly, I think we just were more focused. Uh, first half we came out, I don't know what was wrong. We just weren't clicking. But um, second half came out, we were focused, getting the plays quick, lining up faster. You know, really in halftime, we went over some things, we corrected it, and we came out much stronger. All right, very good. Well, it all led to a victory. So congrats again to the Ray Texans, winners over the Miller Bucks tonight. For now, let's send it back to the studio.